It is officially 2024, and I know that the new year is often a time when many people want to organize their homes. Decluttering will actually make organizing so much easier. So today I have compiled several of my last few decluttering videos to help get you motivated and maybe even help you get started on your decluttering journey. I know a lot of people who dread January. I am the complete opposite. I love January. I love getting things back in order after the crazy holidays. So I am excited to share this decluttering marathon with you. I hope you enjoy it. Well, you know how sometimes decluttering your house can feel completely impossible, like you are paralyzed with overwhelm? Well, sometimes you also just need a quick jump start to get yourself going, to get yourself kind of in the mood to declutter, right? Today, I decided to take 30 quick minutes to get my entire house decluttered. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to get rid of everything that's cluttered in my house in 30 minutes. I'm just going to see how much I can declutter in those 30 minutes. So are you ready to come along with me? Let's go. I'm going to be dividing my house into six different sections. And the first one is in the kitchen. So come along, let's go in the kitchen. All right, so before I get started, just a couple of quick things. I have this laundry basket with me. I'm just gonna carry it around so that it's super easy for me just to throw everything in here. Also, this isn't really the time to be putting stuff away. Just focus on decluttering. Also, I will have to move the camera around a little bit. The timer will be on anytime that I'm looking for items to declutter. So let's get in the kitchen and get decluttering. Starting the timer right now. This is one of the biggest sore spots in my house. We have way too many water bottles. I'm just gonna grab the ones I know we use. Some of these old ones I might get rid of. Oh, I know I want to get rid of this. Some little slushy maker it didn't really work. Uh, oh, that goes to it. That goes to it. Don't need that. I think I'm done with that one. This one's really old and banged up. That one's a no. This one, this one. Okay, I know I have too many cutting boards. Really old. Never ended up using these. So you're gonna go. I don't like this one. It's gonna go. Oh, that can go. It's an old one. All right, there's always something to get rid of in the junk drawer here. It's garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. <laughs> Oh, there's my timer. Okay, I got a lot of stuff done. All right, that was a success. I got 14 items out of the kitchen. Now I'm gonna head into the living room, entryway, and laundry room. They're all right by each other, so let's go there. All right, five minutes on the timer. Let's go. I already saw this sitting here. It's broken. These have been in here for years. Time for those to go. All right, I just pulled these down from the top of my coat closet here. These are all old, I think, because that's why they are not in my little glove holder. This is a really old one. It's gonna go. These ponchos. I think I'm gonna keep one extra. That's gonna go in my kitchen though. I know I'm not supposed to put it away, so I'm not. <laughs> One. This one works. This one works. This still works. This one works. This one, that's garbage. Actually, I don't use any of the covers to the umbrellas. So those are all garbage. Oh, this is a super cheap one. That's gonna go. Oh, this one's all ripped. This is all old. Some used garbage. I think I'm done in there. All right, in the laundry room. I'm feeling a little distracted because all of this needs to be put away. I'm just gonna scoot it. I know there's probably plenty of socks in here that I know don't have a pair. So some of these might have a pair. These can just go together. Oh, there's another match. Oh, another match. That can go. That can go. That can go. Okay, some of the stuff I want to put away, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I might have the mates to these. Those are gonna stay. 22 seconds left. All right, this one might have something in it. Oh, wait, 
I don't think I use these. This is an old one. I don't use this. Use all of that. Um, yeah, oh. There's the timer. Okay, I just counted from the living room, entryway, and laundry room, and I thought I would get maybe two items in there. I got 39 items, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So I've got a pile that is gonna go to the donation center here. I'll throw those into the bin. And then I have a pile of stuff that is garbage or recycling. So I'm just gonna go toss those real quick. The next area that I'm gonna go to are the bathrooms. I have three bathrooms, two upstairs, one downstairs. The one in the basement, my daughter mostly uses. And so I probably won't get rid of much in there because it's her stuff. So let's get going into the bathrooms. I can get rid of the packaging in this. I'm gonna do that. Look, this one had one soap in it. So that is taking up space. So there was some unnecessary garbage. Let's see if I can find anything in the drawers. Another empty box. Okay. I can get rid of this one because I got a new blow dryer. Most of that is okay. There's hardly anything in this one. All right, I imagine there's some more packaging in here. This. Let's stick these in here real quick. Nothing else in there. I think that's all in this bathroom. Two minutes and 37 seconds left. Okay, this one is an old one. I'm just gonna put it in the garbage. This is kind of a disaster down here. So don't mind that. That's just garbage. Okay, that is garbage. Oh my gosh, I could get rid of a bunch of these. I don't think I wanna spend the time going through that right now. I'll let my son decide anyway. That's all in here. I'm just gonna do a quick run through in this bathroom gone throw that out i'm just looking for super obvious things that i know are like like there's two makeup pads in here just take those out throw that away okay i finished the bathrooms with 32 seconds to spare basically everything in there was garbage well everything was garbage i threw away 10 or so items from the bathrooms next thing i'm going to do is move on to the bedrooms now the bedrooms i'm only going to be showing you my bedroom the kids bedrooms i will do a quick walk through and see if i can find anything in there but I'm not gonna take you into their bedrooms, again, for their privacy. So let's go to the bedrooms. If you are enjoying this video, click the like button down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, a lot of decluttering and organizing, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button below as well so that you don't miss any videos. All right, I'm in my bedroom and I saw this on the ground. So this fell out somewhere along the way. So you probably noticed, I don't know, maybe you didn't. All right. I went into two rooms already and I still have four minutes left. I picked up, I don't know, five pieces of garbage. There's a timer. Let's go. I do have two items right here. I'm gonna declutter that. I'm gonna give that away. Ooh, I know what else I got. Okay, and here, this is my uh, bucket for decluttering. And I have four pairs of pajamas. So those are gonna go. All right, let's see. Oh, there's just a couple receipts, pieces of garbage in there. I have two minutes and 45 seconds for the last two bedrooms. I got rid of just a little pile of garbage and a piggy bank in one room. The other room had nothing and I still have a whole minute left. The next area I'm going to work on are the offices. I have an office and my husband has an office. Now these spaces I'm feeling overwhelmed with, especially my husband's office. You'll see why. Let's see what we can do in five minutes. These broke, unfortunately. Those are garbage. This was just a little, this is a pile of garbage. That's expired. That is garbage. I don't think there's anything in there that I, oh, I do need that cord thing I double checked. This is probably garbage. Let's see, there's actually one more thing down here. That's a big thing of garbage. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> but a, a video that I made a long time ago about decluttering this office, I decluttered so much stuff. It was 20 years worth of stuff. I didn't quite finish taking and putting things away. I have this huge pile of recycling here, cords, laptops, all that kind of stuff, old phones. I need to take that stuff to be recycled. Um, I'm actually gonna spend the four minutes in here throwing away all the garbage that I can find because that's basically what I can see that needs to be decluttered. And then I'll carry out all the recycling cords and stuff out to the car. So I'm not gonna count that in my five minutes. Four minutes is left on the clock.
And I am going to be recycling this because I get a lot of people that think I'm not recycling. I am. <laughs> even though it's in a trash can. Most of the stuff in the office is recycling anyway. All right, I think that's about all that I know of. Oh, wait. hold on, another piece of garbage. I'm not gonna spend the time actually going through like pieces of paper. Ooh, I don't know what else. I saw two minutes and 17 seconds and I need to get rid of this. I know the drawers are somewhere. I think one's in my garage. We don't need this. And it's been sitting here for a long time. With me thinking about it, I actually have another one in my lip, my family room. I'm gonna stop my time. I have a minute and 50 seconds. I'm gonna take all this stuff out to the car. Then we're gonna move on to the other space that is feeling really overwhelming is my basement family room in the hall. Oh my gosh. I kind of am feeling like I should have clean this up a little bit before I'm recording, but I'm gonna show you real life. It is a disaster, seriously a disaster. Let's get these things out to the car and I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you the disaster. Okay, even just those few items, look at that. Now the floor looks a lot more empty. This is how my basement looks right now. It's pretty much a disaster. And I would spend the time picking up all this garbage and this garbage is actually my fault. I helped my daughter build a new dresser for her bedroom. I didn't finish by putting all the stuff away, all the garbage away, all the boxes away. And guess what happened when my little son, nine-year-old son and his friends came over? They tore it to shreds all over the basement. I should have taken it and put it in the garbage in the first place. So I'm not gonna count those as decluttering right now. I'm just gonna kind of go through the basement. I know there's several things here that I can get rid of for those first five minutes. And then if I still have time, I will take a few minutes to pick up all the garbage and throw that away as my last little bit of decluttering time. All right, let's go. Okay, there's definitely some blankets in here that can go. Oh, I can hardly even get in here. This one, this one can go probably good for now. Just gonna kind of look around, see if there's anything else. Can't really see anything. So I'm gonna turn around to the other side, which I know there's some things over there. So let's go. Okay, I know that I wanna get rid of this. It's been sitting here for a while. I couldn't decide, but I've decided. So that's going. We have this mattress, we've replaced it. Oh my gosh, this one's heavy. It is old. I used these when I was a kid. I don't think anybody's gonna want this mattress because it's way old. I might stick it out on my front porch and just post on Facebook, uh, the, my neighborhood group, and see if anybody wants to come grab it. If nobody's picked it up, it's just gonna go to the dump. Sorry. Boy, that was heavy. I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do children do this? Good heavens. I really should just get rid of all of this because obviously they don't care about it enough to take care of it, but I'm not going to do that yet because it's their stuff. But I have a bunch of stuff in the hall that can go. So let's go over there. Another disaster. Oh, this can go. I keep thinking I'm going to use these and I don't. I got to stop buying them. I'm just going to get rid of that. A ping pong ball that is dented. One. This space is a little bit, not a little bit, a lot bit overwhelming. It really needs a good declutter. And actually that's probably one of my next videos. I want to find a different way to store our skis. And I just bought an organizing thing that I wanted to try out. Anyway, I'm gonna put that off, but even just getting rid of those few things here, that feels better. I'm gonna turn around and do the stuff over there. I don't really want that anymore. I don't want that. I just had to let these things kind of sit here for a while before I realized that I really don't want any of it. I have no idea if I have the containers for these, but I'm tired of being here. I have one minute left. I have decluttered basically everything that is just a super easy thing to declutter. And I really want to get this garbage out. So I'm going to use the last minute to pick this up. And I bet the space will look a lot better. Five minutes is all it takes to make it feel even just a little bit better. It always helps. Okay, that was perfect timing because I picked up basically all of the garbage. Okay, that was really, really good. 30 minutes that I spent collecting a ton of stuff. Look at all this. This doesn't even include half of the garbage. This doesn't include the huge mattress, the pile of cords and computers, the uh, two plastic drawer things, and a couple of blankets. Let me tell you, I got rid of 14 items in the kitchen, 16 items in the bathrooms, 39 items in the living room areas. I stopped counting after that. <laughs> Even picking up garbage and throwing it away is decluttering. I learned that I can get a lot done in five minutes. I also learned that I have a lot of stuff 
that I didn't realize because when I was thinking about doing this video, I was thinking I really don't have a ton of stuff in certain areas and I ended up having way more than I thought. You always have things to declutter. I also learned that I really wanted to stop and put things away or clean. That would have been very distracting for me and I would have lost focus and probably wouldn't have wanted to keep going. I got rid of over 120 items in just 30 minutes. A lot of stuff. I talked about how sometimes when I do a project or declutter, I don't completely finish the project. I usually leave the last little bit, like the garbage or the pile of cords, right? I'm, I'm gonna take this all out as soon as I'm done with this today, for sure. It's gonna go in my car and then that will make it so much easier to drop it off the donation center. You can click on the video here to learn how to declutter without making a mess. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Do you have a space that you can't walk in because it is so cluttered and things are covered all over the floor? Well, guilty, I know I do. Right here, this closet is a disaster and it's definitely time for me to get it decluttered. So come along with me today, find a space to declutter and we can get this done together. Let's go. In addition to decluttering this closet, we are going to give it a little bit of organization as well. I have tried so hard making this closet work. I have reorganized it. I've added all this nice shelving in here. I need to be able to find some better storage solutions. This is where we store our skis and it is not working. Obviously they are all over the floor. Boots are all over the floor. It just doesn't work. I'm gonna get started by just picking things up off the floor, moving them out of the way. I just want to be able to get into the closet here. Does anyone else have a thousand lids like I do? <laughs> Comment down below and let me know if this is something you have a problem with as well. I already know that I want to keep these sleeping pads up here on this top shelf. So I just need to kind of put them back where they belong. This is the shelf I like to keep sleeping bags. So let's put those in here. This is where we kept our tent. This tent, uh, the poles all broke, so we did get a new one. I'm not sure what to do with this one. I'll have to talk to my husband about that and think about that. But as of right now, we can't use it. I'm just gonna clear everything off the shelf here. I'm gonna see if the new tent will fit on this shelf instead. I think it should fit just fine. These bottom two shelves definitely need to be gone through. This bottom shelf, down here is where I keep all the ski boots. And I think I put the helmets here. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that for now and then see what to do with the rest of the stuff. I believe these are way too small for my youngest. So I'm gonna double check with my husband, but I think it's safe to say we can declutter these. And actually we're probably gonna need to declutter the skis as well. So I will ask him about that. I just wanna put the ones that are used up here in the front. These are too small for him. I'm gonna put those behind these. All right, have all the boots there. I'm gonna move stuff that I know doesn't go on this side. These do not, that does not. I'm gonna put helmets here. I don't think anybody fits in this one either. So that's gonna go. I think this is all I have down here right now. Oh wait, here's my husband's. Here's his. Put his up front since he uses his. Actually, I'm probably gonna move these back here. I really wanna get move this white cabinet so we can get into these shelves a little bit easier. Alright, I've got this pile of stuff here. One of his missing hats. Alright, this is where I keep hiking backpacks. Alright, we'll put those in here. Got these awesome little fanny packs. For hiking. Most of the stuff that was just left here on the floor was just stuff that needed to be put away and I needed to find some better organization. And then also my husband has a ski bag here on the ground and there's just some things that had been thrown here. You know, clutter attracts clutter. With all the stuff on the floor, things just didn't get put away. They just kind of got tossed there on the floor. I apologize for all the background noise. My kids have gotten home from school and so there's a lot of noisy ping pongs and kids talking to me and there's a point where my son comes in and says, mom, just try to ignore that part. This little cupboard I bought about 15 years ago when I started a business to make hair bows and headbands for babies and little girls. And over the years I have decluttered quite a bit, but I thought that they would still be useful. And here there's a couple pieces of wood that I had for crafts I never got around to making. I don't need these. I also started making this baby blanket and I got about 99% of the way done, but I never actually finished. <sighs> I just have to get rid of it. Hopefully somebody can find it and finish. I mean, there's literally not much left. <laughs>
I keep telling myself I'm going to keep it for a baby gift, but I'm, I just, I'm not, I'm probably never going to finish it. Fantasy self. I decided to keep all of these flowers and ribbon. I thought that maybe I would be able to use them for gifts, like making them pretty or cute or I don't know, but you know, I never actually did. And so I really needed to just go through them and declutter them. Bye-bye. That's a piece of fabric I can probably donate. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this. I really just don't sew. These are all just scrap pieces from some bags we made years ago. I'm just gonna throw that away. Okay, some more hair clips. Tons of hair clips. These cute little things I put on clips. These little jewels I put in the middle of flowers that went on headbands or clips. More. Just all of this stuff. I mean, I spent a lot of money on this stuff, but I don't do this business anymore. I just don't see what I'm ever going to use them for. I think I'm just going to have to donate all of this. Somebody hopefully can use them. This is all going. Another kind of hard decision to make. <sighs> Got so much ribbon. I don't want to spend time going through every single thing of ribbon. I know I can use ribbon for wrapping presents. I just haven't used it. Oh, this was for making hair bows. Oh, I don't know. I have two more bins of ribbon. I think what I'm gonna do is just pick out maybe 10 that I think I'll use and the rest I'm just gonna get rid of. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna keep them all. It's part of the problem. Maybe, oh, possibly. Oh, I forgot the next bin. And then if I really do need a little bit of ribbon, I could go buy a little thing of ribbon. I don't need this much. None of that. Okay, now this one. I'm sure that probably 90% of this, well, 99% of this is donate. That's kind of cute for Christmas. Do those for Christmas. That's really when I wrap presents. I mean, birthdays, I guess, but I don't know. Oh, this is probably new. That's a, a lot that I got rid of here. Four big bins. My goal is to get rid of this. And the things that I want to keep from here are going to go on this shelf because this just takes up too much space. I was going to try and put it on the wall over here, but then it would get in the way of the ski rack progress. These are for when I would ship everything. I don't need them. I really don't. So I'm just going to donate those as well. This is empty. Yay. I was given this sewing machine for free. I think I'm going to keep it because I have two daughters who might want a sewing machine when they move out of the house or get married or whatever. So I am going to hang on to that, but I'm going to move it over here. Freezer poofer. I don't know what I use this for. Probably won't use this. I think I'm just going to donate that one as well. Slowly making progress. This will be much easier to get into all the stuff here without that cupboard there. And this stuff it's gonna be much easier so i purchased this rack that is supposed to be able to hold skis and i am really excited to give it a try let's get it hung up on the wall i'm crossing my fingers that this is going to be a good solution for keeping those skis off the floor today is day three of working on this project i keep running into problems so it's taken me for a while but i'm hoping to finally get this finished today i've got my wall all marked up pretty sure i know right where i want these i've pre-drilled holes so now I just need to screw this board into the wall and put the rack on this piece of wood. And I really, really hope that it works. And if it doesn't, back to square one. Woo! One nail in the wall. Let's hope this works out good. Okay, I'm gonna put one on each of these studs here. I'm gonna just strengthen it with several more screws so that this is really sturdy on the wall. I mean, it's already pretty sturdy, but I'm gonna put all those screws in and then we're gonna hang up the rack on that. I'm excited. Okay, I'm just gonna mark. I just realized that I need to pre-drill these holes. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, let's put this on. Yay! The moment we've all been waiting for. This is definitely going to be strong enough. Hopefully these are, but this is definitely strong enough. Let's finish putting all these hooks on. Okay. So excited. Ski number one. 
Ta-da! Yay! Ah! So exciting. Let's hope that these fit by each other. Oh, good. And then I'm gonna hang up the ski poles on this rack. Those. And the ski poles that get used the most are up here in the front. Pretty sure it's those. This project has taken me a lot longer than I imagined. That's okay. The ski rack was kind of a big pain. I'm so glad that that is up. So I'm gonna go through these bins here real quick and this shelf right here really quick. And then I'm gonna vacuum it up in here and I think I'm done. So this is feeling really, really good. I'm really happy about this. This is a bunch of felt. I used this for the back of the hair bow where there was glue and stuff that would hurt little babies' heads. And so I would cut this up and put it on the back. But I don't use felt really for anything else. That's gonna go too. Another bin of flowers and elastic. You know, this has been hard to get rid of all this stuff, but at the same time, it just feels so good because I have had it sitting down here for years and years. I think it was probably when my youngest was born. He's nine. It's been at least nine years since I've had this business. They've been sitting here for nine years. Me thinking that maybe one day I do it again, but I just, I'm not. At least in this stage of my life, I know I'm not. I don't really have a lot of space for it. I don't have any need for it. So I'm just getting rid of it. This one is even already made into a headband. So maybe somebody will find that and be happy about that. I don't know. I'm not even gonna look through this. I can see what's in it and it's all stuff that can go. This last bin, it's on the floor here. More lids. <laughs> too many. These are photos, mementos from high school. So I think I'm going to just still, I'm going to keep all of this. I'd like to get them all scanned. I do have some of them scanned. Oh my gosh. These are funny to look at. I love looking through them too. And it's, it's fun. A bunch of negatives. Oh, these are our engagement photos. If I already have the photos, I probably just toss this and I'm pretty sure we do. I'm going to set it aside See if I can find those, but I'm pretty sure I do have those already. Yeah, I kind of need to go through some of this. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but my little babies, so cute. Negatives that go to these, I think I'm just, I'm gonna throw those away. That feels weird. Why does that feel weird to throw away when I already have all the photos here? I don't know. Do you keep your negatives from 17 years ago? That was about the time when digital, cameras were starting to get popular. I don't know. What would you do? Would you keep these or not? I think I'm going to throw them away. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, these are shoe boxes. I tell you, they're the way to go when you have photos, a ton of photos. Yeah, these go from my wedding day. Oh, these are a ton of the engagement photos in here. So yeah, I don't need those. I'm, I'm going to throw those out. My wedding day, honeymoon, all the way up to my daughter's, how old was she? Eighth birthday. My oldest. I could sit here and just look at these all day. But sometimes and that's what I do. I get distracted. I'll start looking through what I'm trying to de declutter and organize and I get distracted. So I'm not going to do that right now. Now what is this? Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a photo album that broke. And I'll probably take all these pictures out after I scan them, put them into one of these shoe boxes because we don't even look through this photo album. What I prefer to do is to make a scrapbook on Project Life. Have you heard of Project Life? I love using that app. I just put all of my digital photos and make a little collage out of it. And then I take that page and put it into a um, printable book like Peekaboo, Shutterfly, Costco even, even does them. Anyway, that's what I like to do. 2007, Oh. So dang cute. Did you guys ever do these photo booths as a teenager? I did them all the time. We thought it was so fun. <laughs> We'd go to Kmart and get in the photo booth and take pictures. Oh, these are all my school dance pictures. I wanted to make a little craft bin because I do have a few things that I want to keep, like the ribbon. I'm just going to throw them in here. I just want them contained in some sort of bucket. That is all I'm keeping of the ribbon. Now I need to go through this little container. This is Mod Podge. I have no idea how long this lasts. What am I going to use Mod Podge? And if I need it again, I can buy it. I spent at least 10 
years since I've used this. So I'm just gonna throw that one out. Low odor, or <laughs> low odor, oh my gosh, I can't say this. Low odor clear finish, same thing. This is just like a little protector, I think, that just goes on. No, I'm not gonna use it. Toss that. I mean, this was when our my kids liked to do little crafts. This is almost gone. This is basically gone. This one feels pretty close to being gone. And these are so cheap. So I'm gonna get rid of those. What would I use this for? I don't know. I don't even I don't even know what I used it for in the first place. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna throw it out. And then just a few little paint brushes. I'll keep those. Let's see what else I have that can go in this craft bin. This is more like scrapbooking stuff, which I don't do anymore. I talked about how I do digital scrapbooking, so I could likely get rid of most of this stuff. It's a cute little stamp kit that obviously I didn't really even use. I think it's safe to say I can get rid of those. I don't really care for these colors, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. These can be tough decisions. I don't know why they're so hard. Well, I emptied a couple of bins. Keep just this one. I do have some like scrapbook paper that I'm gonna go through, but this is the rest of all the crafting type stuff. This is my husband's momentum type box. I don't know if he's ever gonna wanna go through it, but now that I have easier access without this big cabinet here, I'm gonna stick these down here since they're pretty heavy. Let's see if I can fit both mine and his. Close enough, it works. Oh look, more craft stuff. A lot of this was supplies that I used when I was doing the hair bows, but I still could use glue gun, more ribbon, a wood burning tool. Oh, it looks totally busted. I'll throw that away. A bunch of glue sticks here. And keep these. So now I think that's all the craft stuff. I might find more, who knows? My sewing stuff, it's not organized. Pretty sure I use most of the stuff. Even if I don't, it's, it all fits. I'm not too concerned about trying to organize and declutter this right now. This is what I don't know what to do with. <sighs> what do I do? I might just keep some of this solid paper. The rest I might just donate. I actually got a lot of this for free for somebody else that was getting rid of it. Why did I take it? I don't know. It was free. That's probably why I took it. Yeah, I used these to make a poster for a teacher one year. I don't think I need them. These little things that you could mount your pictures on for scrapbooks. So that's gonna go. I had this little Eiffel Tower thinking that I was gonna make a scrapbook of when I went to Paris. Haven't done that. And that was when I was in high school. My mom was a travel agent, so we gotta do some fun stuff. That's all gonna just go. I mean, do people even scrapbook anymore? I don't even know if I wanna look through all this. This is, I think, all letters, sticker, letter stickers. Oh man, why is this so difficult? Ah, oh, this is so difficult. Okay, like I said, I'm just gonna keep some of these plain cardstock papers, they can come in handy. All the ones that are decorative, I guess I'd donate them. All right, so I'm gonna go through all of this and pick out the stuff that is just stuff I'm not gonna keep. Okay, ha, huh. this is feeling really, really good. And I'm gonna have probably a couple of empty shelves here. I'm thinking that it's possible I could take some stuff out of that closet down there and put it here, like wrapping paper and that kind of stuff, or possibly suitcases. I'm not sure if suitcases will fit here. I have this great little organizer that I really, really like for all of my seeds. So let me kind of show you here. This is supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, like photo organizer, which I guess I could use instead of my trusty old shoe boxes, but this works fine. Um, so anyway, I have my seeds here organized. I just have them in the little container. I hear you're supposed to keep this somewhere cool and dry. So I keep it down here so that it's not like out in the garage or in my shed. That's gonna go down here. So all I have left in here are these pillows. Um, and this is something that I've struggled with. I haven't even opened these bags. This is from when we bought our couch. I mean, it's been at least five years. It's probably been more like seven or eight years. I just didn't really love the pillows, love the color, but I've kept the pillows in case I decided I wanted to put different pillowcases on. I don't know what to do with these. All right, I think this might be day five or four somewhere around there that I've been working on this closet. That's okay. It's the holidays and things are just kind of crazy. That's okay. We're just going to keep moving along. So I'm almost done in here. I just have to put a few things back or find a place where they belong in here 
And then I've got a ton of stuff down here in the hall that needs to just be sent to the donation center. I did take the pillows and I actually decided just to put them on my couch. I'm not super picky about decor and making things look perfect. They're comfortable and they still do look good and they match. So I made some space there. I think I will put these snowshoes up here on the top where the pillows were. And I forgot that I had this extra sewing machine. And so I'm just gonna kind of shove it behind the sewing machine that I do use. So anyway, let's let's try and get this done. Come on, we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna test this bucket out and see if it will fit here where I'll put the backpacks and fanny packs and stuff for hiking. I think that is gonna work okay. I'll probably put this stuff over here and put the helmets over here for winter time. And then when uh, summer and stuff comes, we'll swap them so that this is the stuff that's easier to get into. In fact, maybe I'll put goggles up here since they kind of go with the helmets. Some goggles, the helmets, hand warmers, toe warmers, all the ski boots. Oh, this is feeling so good. I'm really, really liking this. Don't you just love it? when you get things organized and decluttered and it just feels amazing. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments if that's how you feel. And if you are enjoying this video, I would love for you to like it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. I make them every week. All right, as you can see, this one has all of the little flowers. So I'm just gonna add the rest of these flowers into this bag here. This is a massive bag of fantasy self items that I am donating. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself because this is actually really, really hard to get rid of all of this. Really hard. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I know you can do it as well. Your fantasy self is when you have all these things that you think you want to do. So you're thinking you could, you're going to want to scrapbook. You're going to want to sew. You're going to want to do all of these things. And at this time of your life, you just can't do it. You don't have the time, you don't have the energy. It's something that you think you're going to do, but you don't ever get time to do it. So that is a really good time to just get rid of that stuff. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to get rid of it because I know, I, I really know deep down that I'm never ever going to use all of this stuff. I feel okay about that. Let's keep moving. So I've got this big bag. There goes nothing. Oh my gosh, look at all this ribbon. Getting rid of my fantasy self. Feels really good. I don't even know if this is not gonna fit. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I kind of want to weigh this to see how much it weighs because this is heavy and this is a ton of ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's like crazy. Since I already have the elastic and headbands and stuff in there, I'm gonna put all of this in there. I could also make these little hair um, hair ties. People would put them around their wrists. That was another reason I thought, oh, maybe I'll keep this. But you know, again, I just don't, I just don't do it. Plus I find it easier just to buy a pack of hair elastics at the grocery store. I'm gonna add in this felt in here. Don't really want this bucket any basket anymore. So I'm gonna use this to throw some stuff in to take to the donation center. I think I'm just gonna stick all of these little embellishments and put them in here, all these little jewels, clips. All right, and then I'm still having a hard time parting with this. I could finish this. All you have to do is cut, kind of like I did here to fray these little edges, cut these all these edges and wash it. And then it's all ready to go. And it's a cute little blanket, but ugh, why am I having such a hard time getting rid of this? Well, because I spent so much time just doing it. I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Just have to do it. No more thinking about it than the other fabrics. Another one down and then also this basket. I don't want to keep this basket anymore either. I've had both of these for years and years and years and I honestly don't love baskets. They just seem to break and fall apart. I, I prefer bins or fabric baskets maybe. I got rid of all the scrapbook paper. I don't need the, any of these. So this is all going to go just gonna put it in here. Okay. And then this bag of all this scrapbook stuff. I'm going to go in here. More scrapbooking stuff. These mailers and boxes. Just going to put all of this in another bag. Now I'm going to look through these lids real quick. 
I only want to keep the ones that I have that are matching. I'm going to keep this. It has the lid. I like these containers that have the little, I don't know what you call those, whatever they are. This goes to this. Hang on to that. Pretty sure I got rid of the lid to this. So I'm probably just going to get rid of that. This is just a really old shoe bin. Oh, this might be good for uh, photos. Maybe organizing like my husband's photos. I might think about that one. That's all the bins that I have. So I think I'm going to get rid of most of those. I do like to keep some of these. Um, like when we go to our cabin, we put our our snowshoes in this to carry up. So I like to actually keep them in this utility closet here. So I think I'm just gonna put that in there. But the rest of these lids, I'm just gonna recycle them. There we go. I'm gonna move all this out to the car and vacuum out this closet and then I'm done. And I realized I forgot that I do have a few things behind the door here. This is my little crafting mat. I really don't use it a lot, but I'm gonna just stick it behind here. And then this is just some extra poster board for school projects and stuff. I'm gonna put it right over here next to the crafting stuff. And I used this for my glue and my wood burning tool when I was making hair bows. As you can see, it's destroyed. I mean, it's not usable for what it was meant for, but that's okay. That was kind of my intention, but I don't need it anymore. So I'm just gonna throw that one out. Oh, it's nice and empty back here. This feels so good. Oh, no more stuff all over the place. Two empty shelves, all organized and labeled. I did decide to weigh this ribbon. Can you guess how many pounds of ribbon are in here? 15, 15 pounds of ribbon. That's a lot of ribbon. Not that long ago, I had another storage room that was so cluttered I couldn't walk in it. Click on the video here to see the incredible transformation of that closet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Can two simple questions actually help you simplify your wardrobe? Well, today, as I go through my closet, I'm going to be asking myself these two questions. So if you are in need of a good declutter of your clothes, let's work side by side and we can get this done together. Are you ready? Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just grab an item, a piece of clothing and ask, does it fit? And the answer to this is no, this doesn't fit anymore. In the last year, um, I've actually lost quite a bit of weight so I'm just gonna throw this one into the donation bin. Bye-bye. So if you've changed your body size in any way, whether you've gained weight, lost weight, you might wanna start by just picking out all the clothing that you know does not fit. And then it will be a little bit easier to see what you do have left and go through all of that. And the next question, number two is, do I love it? And along with that is, does it make me feel good? Because you want everything in your closet to fit you, to make you feel amazing. So if the answer is no to the question, do I love it? It's definitely time to donate it. Just get rid of it. Okay, this is a dress. Yes, it fits. Yes, I like it. I don't love it, but I don't have a lot of dresses so i'm going to keep this one when you are questioning an item test it out this sunday i will wear this and if it's bothering me at all if i'm having to tug or it's itchy it's not comfortable and you probably won't wear it very often so just get rid of it and when you put this back you want to hang it backwards and then after you wear an item you're gonna hang it right way that way you're going to know when you go to clutter your closet next whether you've worn the item or not. And if you haven't worn the item, that is something you just know automatically that you can donate. That is why decluttering often is really helpful. I actually talked about this dress in my last closet declutter. This did not fit. And I actually put this in my someday bin. Someday bin can be, if your weight actually fluctuates quite a bit, you can put items in there that don't fit, but you think are going to fit in the next little bit. And it's something that you actually love. Only put what can fit in that container. I'm gonna try on the items that I'm not 100% sure still fit, and then either put them back if it's something that fits and that I like, or donate them. Okay, I'm just gonna go through a few more things here and just kind of decide quickly what I wanna keep. I feel like this one is more of a summery skirt. So I'm gonna stick this in my off-season bin. I have two black hoodies. This one's older and kind of bigger and this one is super comfy and I like it. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna donate this one. In my last video, I actually tried it on and thought, oh yeah, I'll keep it, I'll wear it. 
it still has tags and it's been a year. And before that it was already questionable and now it's probably way too big. So this is an obvious no, I'm going to donate. There's two items here that I did just recently purchase. I just lost weight. I decided to go treat myself to a few new items. I tried this one on again and I don't love it. I liked it when I tried it on, I don't love it. So I'm actually gonna return this sweater. And the same goes for this one. I think I like this one. I need to try it on again. So I'm gonna try that on and make sure that I still like it. I don't know, I was just walking around in this. It just feels a little bit too big. I mean, I know it's probably meant to be that way. I don't love it. I'm gonna take it back. I just bought this one. I like that one. I recently wore this to my daughter's graduation. This one would be good with a sweater over it in the winter. I might keep it. I'm gonna try this one on. I know my try on pile is getting kind of big, but like I said, I lost some weight and I need to make sure that they either still fit um, or I still like them. This one is too big and I'm tired of it. These are two more shirts that I got. This one I wanna try on again because I do like the color, obviously. <laughs> if you can't tell, I like this maroon red color. This one kind of feels a little bit too short. So this is one of those examples that I am tugging on it. I do like it, but I'm tugging on it a lot. I didn't wear this that much. So that one's gonna go. That already feels so much better. Look, they have a space, space to breathe. It's amazing. These shelves right here are supposed to be where I keep my shoes, but I have started to kind of stuff things in here that I am unsure about. We're gonna go ahead and just dig right into this. I do use this when I garden, but I really don't like them hanging here because it gets in the way of this. I'm gonna be trying some new organization systems in this closet. Um, if you haven't heard, which you probably have, but Cass from Clutterbug, she has a quiz that you can take and helps you figure out what kind of organizing style you have. And according to her quiz, I am a cricket. And a cricket is somebody who needs things that are hidden in the baskets, but like really organized and streamlined. And that's how I am. So when I look at all this, I just feel anxiety. It just drives me crazy. This is a shelf of stuff I've shoved in here that I didn't think fit very well. So I'm gonna go through these real quick. These are too big, these are too big, and these are too big. These are a bunch of shirts that I had in my off season clothing last year. I put them here, I haven't worn them. So I already know that I don't even have to look at them. I haven't worn it for like two years. So it's gonna go, all of these are gonna go. This shelf has a lot of things that I bought and I just haven't put away. I guess maybe I haven't decided on. I bought this thinking I'd like it. It's, I love, love these cozy sweaters, but I don't know if I like the color. What do you think? Do you like it or not? <laughs> okay. These two pair of jeans I bought, but they are too long. Short girl problems. Anybody else? <laughs> so I kept these in here because I need to hem them. I'm going to put these in the try on pile and I'm going to pin them up and get them hemmed. If you are enjoying this video, I'd love it. If you would like it, here's a pair of shoes I bought a while ago. I haven't worn them. What are they doing in the box? How is it helpful having them in the box? It's not. So I'm going to take these out. One of the nice things about decluttering often, again, is that I was really questioning these last time, so I kept them. But now that I've gone through it again, I've realized that I haven't worn them. So for me, it's not a question anymore. This is a, I know I don't like them. I'm going to get rid of them. This is a part of my closet that usually gets out of control. I'm just going to go through what we have here, try and clear out this space and declutter it. I keep like my laundry baskets back here. I don't like keeping my laundry baskets back here. They just collect stuff. My laundry room is too small. They don't fit there. Two baskets. I have three baskets in here and I think I have another one of these. So really I have four. I do not need four baskets. <sighs> Why do I have a volleyball in here? I don't know. That needs to go in our garage. So I'm gonna put that in the garage. My idea is to have a donation and a return bin down here. I actually really don't want anything on the floor. So maybe I can find somewhere else to put it. These are some items I know I'm going to return. I just bought these at Target yesterday to try and organize. And I'm actually gonna put it in here as my return bin. If it gets too full, it obviously means that it's time for me to return them. More returns. I need to go through these too. I don't wear 99% of these. And I actually really, I liked this, but I don't like it anymore. It just seems to get in the way. This is one I just bought. I do like it, so I'm gonna keep that. And this is a rain jacket. It's probably too big again. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a little big, but I think that's okay for just a rain jacket. Okay. Oh, this is so much better. I have this banker box back here. It's been back here for years. I don't use it. It's going in the garbage. Voila way better. Onto this pile of stuff here. This is kind of funny. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see, it's October and I still have these in here. I didn't end up using them. They're just garbage. This is a bin of, I think, I can't remember. Let's look. This was kind of a time will tell bin as well. I don't think these are gonna fit. I'm gonna just get rid of them. I didn't love them anyway. Well, they're gonna be too big. I'm gonna get rid of those. So that's it. I'm gonna put all that work stuff back in here. The YouTube stuff. These our towels and stuff that go back to our cabin. We don't have a washer and dryer there, so we take them home to wash. And I had a little smaller laundry basket that I put it in, but I don't know where it is. I'm gonna, they won't fit in here. Nope. I'm gonna try and find that laundry basket. I'm gonna work on this area real quick. I thought I wanted to try door dashing. I don't, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This just has a bunch of extra bags. This is an old purse. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it again have a bunch of stuff for gifts. Oh man, I forgot we had all this stuff too. A gift, a gift. Oh my gosh, more candy. Okay, some more gifts. Mmm. Mm. Oh, the smell of laundry. Sun-drenched linen. Yum. Oh. Okay, that feels better. I like the look of that. Cricket right? My cricket style. Oh, I'm already liking that a lot better. And these hats can go up here too, actually. This was my off season bin. And this is the stuff that would have been for summer. Summer is past and I didn't wear a lot of the stuff. So I'm going to take it out and go through that. And then this, I need to go through this as well. I might be able to fit into some of these. So I'm going to put that down we'll get into that let's go through these two buckets and then i'll be done in here i just don't like it i'm gonna toss that oh i don't like this one either i already know that this one too this one too <laughs> but you know what i actually don't like this one and i will tell you why because it's really wrinkly this was after trying to iron it so i'm gonna get rid of that this is one that i saved and actually kind of glad i saved it so i'm gonna put this in my try on oh my gosh you're gonna laugh. This is funny. <laughs> Another green jacket. What is with me in green jackets? Like I buy them and I don't even really wear them. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that one. I might take it back. I'm gonna have to decide between these two. This is a thicker, warmer one. This is just a light jacket. I'm gonna try this one on, just see how it fits and make my decision after that. I know these are too big. I didn't wear them this summer. Oh, this is just so nice that after a year of leaving this stuff here and going through, I'm like, I already know, I don't want it. Now my time will tell bin is empty. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna try and make this really quick going through my dresser here. I kind of feel like I wasted money on these, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use these colors. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these. So that drawer's done. I recently bought these and they're really cute. They just don't fit anymore. They're too big. I might put these in my someday time will tell bin. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put those in there. I don't like this one anymore. Definitely don't like this one anymore. I don't want that. Wow. Look at all this space. Okay. Feels better. These are way too big, but I've been able to tighten them. I need to get new ones, but I'm going to keep all of these until I can get a new size. Oh, look at that. I went and bought myself one of these. I didn't realize I had two. This is kind of my... Uh, indulgence. They're so good. I just take off a little square or two once in a while. Pajama bottoms. Okay. This drawer is my workout clothes. I mean, I'm just going to take it all out. There's so much in here. I don't wear that. I don't wear that. I don't wear that. I wear this all the time and this all the time. All of these, those are going to go in here. Yes. If they're on the top, usually that indicates that I have worn them recently. Yes, I don't like this waistband. If you're not comfortable in it, get rid of it. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at all that space. That's done. I actually think I'm gonna put down these comfy pants down here. And then I do have a pair of jeans in the dryer. Actually, I'm gonna go grab them so I can put them in here. Look at this ginormous pile of donate. I had a box. It's hiding under there somewhere. I feel amazing and a whole huge bag stuffed full of garbage. 
As you can see here, I've gone through all of these clothes hanging up. I have also gone through all the clothes in my dresser. I have tried on everything that I wasn't quite sure about. Most of it I actually kept. I did ask myself the two questions. The first one was, does it fit? And the answer to them was yes. And the second one was, do I love it? Some of them I loved, some of them I didn't quite love. I probably am gonna put those in the section of items I need to wear within the next week or two and decide if I actually want to keep them. But the rest of the items hanging up here in my closet, they make me feel good, I love them, they're comfortable. And I have all my shoes up here on the shelf, all organized. You can see up here, I've done all the bins. I have one that has the gifts in it, one that has extra bags, one for hats. I have one for off season. And I also have this bin that has the items that are a time will tell someday bin. And next time when I go through my closet, if I haven't pulled that down and worn any of those items, it's time for me to get rid of them. I also have a couple of bins here. One has my returns in it. I have a basket with all of my supplies for filming. And I also have a basket here for donations. I left my last video on decluttering this closet here for you if you wanna check it out. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm going to be taking you through five steps today to declutter and organize your linen closet. The first step is to take everything out of your closet. I don't always do this. Sometimes I do it shelf by shelf, but this time I want to do a new organizing system in here because obviously, this one isn't working. So I'm going to be taking everything out of here and declutter. I'm gonna be going through each and every item and deciding if it's something that I wanna keep or something I wanna get rid of. Decluttering your closet is going to make the biggest difference by far. It's really hard to organize when you have too much stuff. I realize that everyone has different things that they keep in their linen closet. What I have here is just the items that make sense to me. I also don't keep extra towels in our linen closet. I only keep two extra towels for the master bathroom and I just keep those under the sink. The other two bathrooms, there's four hooks in each bathroom and I just keep all four towels on the hooks there. I only have one extra hand towel for each bathroom and they are underneath the sinks in the bathrooms. I also have some medicine in our master bathroom that I have been wanting to try to move to this closet. So I'm going to see if that will be something that works. I'm not sure we're gonna like it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try it. So I'm gonna kind of talk you through my decluttering process and what goes through my head when I declutter here. I just bought this first aid kit. I probably need to have this go in my car actually. So I'm gonna stick this in a pile of things that I need to just put away when I'm done here. I bought this hand sanitizer during the pandemic. How long ago was it now? Three and a half years ago? We haven't used it. Honestly, I'm not a hand sanitizer person. Is that bad? I'm not, I just use soap and water whenever I can. So I'm just gonna toss these. We don't, we don't use them. This is kind of where I've tried to keep band-aids. This obviously has not worked very well. I am gonna try some new systems for band-aids on how to organize those. I'm just gonna take all the band-aids out here real quick, just kind of stuff them into a box and then I will be organizing those later. Let me explain to you what I like to do with my sheets and I have too many in here right now, but I like to keep one sheet set per bed. I usually just take them off and wash them and put them back on in the same day, but I do like to have one extra pair of sheets per floor of the house, per size of bed, if that makes sense. So my boys' bedrooms are right here. There are twin beds in each room, and so that means I would just keep one extra twin, one extra, <laughs> one extra set of sheets that I can kind of rotate back and forth. Let's go through this real quick and see what we have. I wanna explain something really quick here. I do also have a closet down in the basement, which we keep some of the sheets for the two twin beds that we have downstairs as well. I haven't gone through those, but the same thing applies downstairs. I wanna just keep one pair of extra sheets for the two beds downstairs. Yeah, this is the sheet set that goes to our bed, our extra pair of sheets. So this is the one I'm going to keep. I like to have some extra mattress pad covers as well. Don't really need these anymore. These were kind of for when they were wedding beds way back when. So I think it's time to get rid of those. This is the kind that is <laughs> really noisy. So again, this was when they were wedding beds and I don't need it. I'm gonna throw that one away. This one can go. This was supposed to go on my son's bed. He didn't care for it. 
and we decided to get something else. I'm just gonna go send this one to the donation center. It's basically brand new, it hardly even got used. Oh, you know what, this is perfect. I think it was for Christmas. My mother-in-law bought, these are similar to Betty's, but they're the sheet set. They don't come with the cover on them, so the top sheet zips down, and the zipper just broke on my youngest. That's broken too. Darn it. Never mind. This is a queen. We don't have a queen. I don't need that. This is probably a queen as well. Why am I keeping the top sheet when I don't have the fitted sheet with it? Those are just gonna go. I think this is the one pair of sheets I'm going to keep for my boys' bedrooms. And I'm gonna keep these two mattress covers as well. Let's see, do I have more? Oh, I have more. Butter. Forgot about these. I was thinking, I know I have more than that. Here would be a good idea. If I could actually organize these into sizes. I'm pretty sure this is a twin. Oh, this is for a king. Ha! I forgot that I did buy a cheaper king bedding set because I couldn't find the ones that I like for our bed. They're like brand new though. And they're actually really soft. I'm gonna think about these for just a minute. Let's look through all these pillowcases. There's way too many in here. This went to our bedding, but I don't use these. This is kind of a tricky one because I could keep them if I decided to change the decorative pillows and put this one on, but I really don't think I'm going to. But they've been sitting in here for years. I haven't even known that they were there. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of them. I think it's much easier. Just get rid of them. Oh, this is to a bedding set that we don't even have anymore. Another pillow sham. Well, that's going. I kind of like to have a few extra pillowcases per pillow in our house, but this one is kind of dingy and gross. That's gonna go. This one is brand new and it goes to our bedding set. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Another pillowcase. Ooh, this one's old. It doesn't really, it just smells dingy. So that one's going in the garbage. Ooh, actually, I think this might go on my son's bed that he uses right now. Let me look. Actually, nope. I forgot that those sheets ripped, so we don't need that pillowcase anymore. Well, hold on. Let me think about that for a minute. Okay, this is another, this one, <laughs> I'm sniffing it. <laughs> I think this one might be okay. Let's think about that. Let's look through the other ones first. See what we have here. This one's really soft. This one looks pretty new, so I might keep that one. This one looks a little yellow and old. And there's a stain that's gonna go oh and this went on a pillowcase to a way old sheet set that one's gone so that's garbage so i have one for two two king sets for our bed which i might keep i have to think about that so let's set that aside and then i have one twin sheet set these two mattress pads and one extra pillowcase I kind of wish that I had one more extra twin pillowcase. So I might go back through that pile and pick one out that looks the cleanest. All right, done with that. Did your kids or anybody you know ever get molluscum? I had a child that did. It was miserable. He had it for like a year and it was really, really hard to get rid of. I have no idea if this helped or not, but that was something we put on to try and get rid of it. But man, he was, that was years ago. That was probably eight years ago. I'm gonna throw that out. Have you guys ever had lice? <laughs> we went through lice. My two girls went through lice and that was fun. Not really. So this one expired in 2017. This whole kit is just garbage, but I am going to keep these knit combs. That was the only way you could get rid of lice. At least that was the only way that I could find that we could get rid of lice. So I'm going to keep those as well. Okay, this is sunscreens and bug repellent. I know a lot of this is probably either half empty or almost empty or way expired. This one looks way old. Oh, <laughs> it's not. That one's still good, it's full. Pretty sure these are pretty old. Yeah, 2018. I think this is the same and it's almost empty. Okay, I don't even know how old this is. There's some sunscreen in it for traveling and I could empty it out and I could keep this little dispensing travel tube. I don't wanna take the time and I don't wanna clean it out. And these are pretty cheap at Walmart. I think they're like 50 cents or a dollar or something. And I already have a bunch of other ones. In fact, 
there's one right here. And this one I think has more current sunscreen in it. So I'm gonna keep this one, toss this one. Okay, this is pretty gross. I wanna organize these a different way. So I'm gonna set that aside. Goggles, which we don't really even use anymore. These are way back when, oh boy, do I keep these? I mean, they could come in handy. Ooh, the plastic is sticky and gross. And we haven't used these in years. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna toss those. So many goggles. Some of these are brand new, so I might keep a couple pair. Those are brand new. These are old. Those are brand new. These are old. Those are old. I don't think anybody likes wearing these. So I'm gonna throw those. So I'm just gonna keep these two. I don't need a whole container for two goggles, so I'm just gonna set these and probably put them with the sunscreen. Are you enjoying this video? I really hope you are. I hope it's motivating you. And if it is, I would love it if you would give it a like. I keep my light bulbs in this closet as well, and I know there's some in here I don't really like. I've gotta go through these. That's gonna be fun. And I have no idea what this goes to. Anybody? What does this go to? I have no idea. It looks important. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it away though, because I don't know. I think it's been sitting there for a long time. This is for like your oven. I'm gonna keep that. So I don't want the ones that are not LED anymore. This is a flickering light bulb that we use on Halloween. That's kind of fun. Oh, this is the black light that we used on Halloween. It's full, fully covered in dust. I don't need that one. I'll toss it. Last thing I'm gonna go through are these beach towels or pool towels, whatever you wanna call them. We have six people in our family, so I'm going to only keep six towels. And I'm gonna just pick out the ones that we like the best or the ones that are in the best shape. So there's one. <laughs> these are not all in the best shape, but these are bigger ones. We like the bigger ones. So two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna donate that one. All right, we have two humidifiers here. I know this one we use a lot. This one is an older one that we really haven't used much. I know we probably don't need to, so I am going to donate that one. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, I would love it if you would subscribe. I make videos like this every week. I focus on decluttering and organizing, so if you enjoy this stuff, please subscribe. All right, you can see I got a nice big bag of garbage and a huge pile to take to the donation center. I feel like that is quite a bit of stuff that came out of that small closet. Step number two is to sort everything into piles. You want like with like items. It was really pretty easy for me to sort my piles because I did that as I was decluttering. Step number three is going to be prepping our shelves. Now this could be as simple as just wiping them down and getting them ready to put everything back in. It could be if you're really feeling ambitious and you really have wanted to paint it, now would be a good time to paint it. Or if you needed to add shelves, that kind of stuff, this is a good time to prep. A really good way to add extra storage in here without having to build your own shelves is to repurpose some shelving. So I am going to be doing that here a little bit later to show you that there are a lot of different ways to use up all of the space. If you have a bucket that goes to here, you have all this wasted space. Oh, almost. Stack like that. Step number four is to create zones or categories. Now, when you do this, you wanna make sure that right in the middle where you can reach are going to be the items that you use the most. Anything that you only use once in a while, they can be up really high, they can be down really low. So I'm going to find a way to make everything fit right here on these, probably these two shelves. Those are the easiest to get to. This one is okay to get to, but I'm still pretty short. Trying to get to the back here is a little bit harder. Step number five is to contain the items and label them. Now before I went to Target and Walmart to kind of see what I could find, to make everything look nice and contain it. I wanted to try something new. No, you don't have to, you can repurpose anything that you already have. That's what I did before. I just kind of want to make it a little more functional and look a little bit nicer this time. I measured every single shelf and found what could fit. So like this one can fit here. It actually fits perfect up on this shelf. That might be a little bit better. And then I bought a bunch of these big weave baskets. 
So I actually already have a couple of these. So before I went to the store, I brought them in here and I stuck two here and they fit perfect. So I really like how this is. There's really not much wasted space up here, as you can see. I'm really excited to get going on this. So let's get all the items contained in here. I have gone through every single item in this closet so far. I took all the band-aids and I'm going to organize those and sort those here pretty soon. Got all the band-aids into these. I love these little containers. I use them in my office for um, cords. So I think I need to buy more of these because I stole these out of my office. I'll link them down below if you want them, but they are, I just love these. Now maybe I'll label on top of each of these. I wasn't able to fit these gauze pads, the tape, or the creams. So I gotta find something else for that. Okay, here is my dilemma. I want this to be the first aid station. I might put the medicines in here actually. I really like these here because you can stack two and so you have two separate bins. Whereas this one, it seems like everything would just get thrown in there. I don't really love that idea, but this would fit in here and would not fit in here. And if I lay them down, they spill all over. So I don't know if I want to do that. So I think I'm going to try putting all the first aid stuff in here. Well, once I have the band-aids organized, actually it won't be that bad. For now, I'm just going to leave these in the box. Tapes and the creams. I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. <laughs> We'll see if I like that or if I decide to change it up. All right, to save some space, I've got these two pillows. I am going to use this vacuum seal bag. I just got this pack on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if you are interested in them. I'm pretty sure that these are reusable. So when we use the pillow, we can take all the air out and re-vacuum seal it, which I actually hear it's a good idea to let them air out once in a while. We're gonna go ahead and get these pillows deflated. This is really satisfying. Let's hope this fits. Maybe I should have tried folding it in half. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video and have felt motivated. If you need some motivation on your closets, check out this video where I declutter my clothes. I think you'll really enjoy it. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Today, I wanted to show you how decluttering does not have to be overwhelming. We can take little bite-sized pieces at a time. So today I'm going to be spending 15 minutes decluttering this closet. I'm going to be just focusing on this gift wrap section. So let's see if I can get the whole gift wrapping section done in just 15 minutes. Will it be perfect? No. Will it be done? Hopefully, but if not, that's okay. I'll spend 15 minutes again next time and just continue and continue until it is completely decluttered this whole closet because it needs it, as you can tell. So it doesn't have to be hard or overwhelming. So relax and enjoy watching or set yourself a 15 minute timer and declutter with me. It's always easier with a friend. With me, I have just a box that I'm going to use for things that I'm going to declutter and just a bag for anything that needs to be recycled or thrown out. I'm gonna set the timer here for 15 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and get going. I wanted to come here and just chat with you for a little bit while I am doing this declutter. I'm going to be showing you this in real time today and we're just gonna have a little bit of a chat. So um, here you can see that obviously this doesn't work very well, which I already mentioned. I haven't really found a great solution for how to contain all my gift wrapping supplies. I have tried before the tall container where you have the wrapping paper sticking up and down. It just seemed too bulky and I didn't have quite enough wrapping paper anyway to fit in it. I don't usually keep very much wrapping paper. These under the bed storage containers have worked pretty well. I like how they hold most wrapping paper except for some that are really long. So it's been an okay solution. Again, I don't really love it, but it works fine. And I'm going to be moving them to a different location, which I will like a lot better because then I can actually store the luggage in here a lot easier. 
I used to store our luggage in our garage up high and that was a huge pain because we'd have to pull out the car, get out the ladder, climb up, get the luggage down anytime that we needed to use luggage. We, I guess maybe we didn't travel quite as much when we were younger, even just with younger children. We travel more now, not a ton, but we still travel more with older kids. So with the luggage out of the garage and down here under the stairs, I think it is going to be a lot better. And especially with the wrapping paper gone, I think it will fit even better. I'll talk through a little bit of this, but like these I need to take upstairs. I use these to deliver cookies to neighbors for Christmas. Um, I like to keep boxes. Those are always come in handy for gifts. Set these aside. I wished I had realized that I already had a bunch of wrapping paper for Christmas because I just bought two huge rolls from Sam's Club. Oh well, maybe I'll take them back, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Think about it. Does 15 minutes seem like a long time? Well, to me, 15 minutes flies by pretty quickly. When I look at this closet, my brain tells me that there is no way that 15 minutes is going to do much. But then I get going and I look down at my timer and I think, oh my gosh, I still have 10 minutes left and I've gotten all of this done. All right, I like the key boxes. I just wanna make sure that they have a match, which I'm pretty sure these all do. I think I actually looked through them after Christmas last year. In between me talking about my thought process when I'm decluttering here, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about myself. Hopefully you can be able to get to know me just a little bit better. My husband and I have been married for 22 years and we have four children. Our oldest is at college right now. She'll be turning 19 next week. I can't believe it, 19 years old. It's just crazy to me. Anyway, then we also have a daughter who is 16. We have a son who is 13 and our youngest son is nine. Like, that was cute, but I, I don't need to say that. I'm not gonna use it again. Ribbon, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna use it. A little jewelry box, possible. Plain colored bags I like to keep. Those are all okay. Okay, go. So I'm gonna put these boxes back in here. Put the bags in a different spot. Those are all, oops, in the other container. I think back to when my kids were really little. I just think about how stressed and tired I was all the time and how I felt like I completely kind of lost myself. I didn't even know what my hobbies were. I didn't know what I was interested in. I had a really hard time for several years and became pretty depressed. And through the years, I've done a lot of therapy and been on a lot of different medications to try and figure out which ones work the best for me. And I finally have felt like I'm kind of at a good space. I've even gotten to the point where I feel like I don't really need therapy much anymore. I don't go very often. It's just every once in a while when I feel like I really need it. Okay, there's a lot of bags in here that I haven't used and I've had for years and years. I think I'm gonna use that. Is it possible? No. Possibly. But I still questioned who I was. Uh, I, I could only see myself as a wife and a mom. And not that that is bad. Those are really good things and I'm proud to be both. Paper. <laughs> I guess I did have a lot of wrapping paper that I totally forgot about. I think I'll be able to use all of that garbage. That? I wanted to have something that was for me and that I enjoyed. Um, I wanted to learn more about myself, and so I decided to start a YouTube channel. For many years, I loved watching decluttering videos, cleaning videos. Um, I actually started watching Dawn from The Minimal Mom, I don't even remember, but several years ago. And I'd kind of go in and out. There were times where I'm like, yeah, it's really gung-ho, and I wanted to get it done, but then 
life would overtake me and I would get overwhelmed and I'm like, I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> so I would stop. I also really enjoyed watching cleaning videos. They were so motivating to me. I would turn them on, I'd put in my headphones, earbuds, and I'd get to work and I would get my cleaning done and it was just so motivating and I really, really liked those. And one day I was watching YouTube and I think I came across Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. If you guys haven't heard of her, go check her out. Anyway, I know she was doing a collab with some other YouTubers. She was talking about how she got started on YouTube and just the work that she put into her channel. And I was, I was really interested. And I thought, hmm, maybe this is something that I can do. <laughs> that sounds fun. I really also need to declutter my house and I really enjoy decluttering and maybe I could do that. So I decided just to go for it. This was a little over a year ago and I'll tell you that I have learned so, so much. I have learned that doing a YouTube channel is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> this is where I haven't used a lot of these. So and these were from when I had babies. My youngest is nine. The experience of creating a YouTube channel and learning all about it has been really difficult, but it also has been really rewarding. I have absolutely loved being able to share real life with people. And that's why I decided to go with the name Real Life with Allie, because I just, you know, I noticed that a lot of channels um, kind of had this picture perfect home. And I knew that mine was not picture perfect. And I wanted to show people that it's okay. It's okay not to have a picture perfect life or a picture perfect home and that life is messy and can be hard. And being real here, I, I also, I want the perfection. I want the, the perfect house. I realize that that will never be the case, but you know, that's just what my brain does. It wants to be perfect in every way. I am a perfectionist. Crate paper use this in years. I'm just going to donate that. So I see people with this minimalist lifestyle and I want that. I think, man, if I can have less things and I can be happier and life will be easier, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just give that a try. We're kind of bad getting rid of this, these bags. Somebody made them for me, but I just haven't used them. And while I am not at the point where I feel like I am a minimalist at all, I'm starting to see the benefits of having a more minimal life, like having less stress and having more time. Hmm. These were like party invitations. I'll never actually send out invitations anymore. You just text <laughs> the parents. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm starting to ramble a little bit, so I'll try and wrap this up here. What I've noticed is that I feel like I have more space to breathe when I have things decluttered and organized. I think when there's always a place for something to go, it just feel a lot less stress. I've actually been a mostly tidy person all my life, and I'll talk to you about my um, growing up years in just a second here. I definitely know I want these bags. If I get the time, maybe I'll actually um, kind of divide them up by style. And I think I'm going to keep these just three baby bags for baby gifts. So I'll put like, the baby ones here. Uh, let's consider that. Christmas. So I grew up with a pretty large family. We were a blended family and we were definitely expected to help out. And we all had Saturday chores before we could go and play and my parents really stuck to it. Both my mom and my dad were really organized and really liked uh, to have a clean home. And I remember that my mom would always pick things up if they were left out. Well, if we left out our things, then we were expected to pick it up. If I went to get a drink of water, for example, and I set the cup on the counter for just a few minutes to go go to the bathroom or go grab something, I'd come back and the dish was already gone in the dishwasher. <laughs> and we, This was something that was very common in our home. We're like, mom, we just got that out. Don't put it away yet. <laughs> so I was definitely taught well when I was young, but growing up and being an adult and having my own children in my own home, it became really difficult for me to just keep up, keep up on taking care of all these kids 
and a house and I fell into some bad habits and I just kind of started becoming a little bit messy. But as time has gone on and my kids have gotten older, I am just trying to get my life together a little bit and that includes a lot of decluttering. time do I have? Three minutes and 40 seconds. Making good progress here. Now I'm considering not putting away most of the wrapping because I'm going to be using it, but I'm only going to take a couple rolls so that I can see what I can put in here. Use the cellophane for wrapping up the cookies. Um, I need to use this up. One of those. I don't think this even fits in here. So I'm going to use that up. I'm gonna use this one up because it's already unwrapped. Um, I don't love this one. It doesn't really match what I have. I kind of want my wrapping paper to match. I know that's kind of silly. I haven't before, but I started last year and I loved how it looked. So this is a, I'm gonna put away. So I have several things of wrapping paper. I really like this one. I just bought, these are huge huge 150 square feet from sam's club and i just bought two more because i thought i didn't have any wrapping paper so i'm going to set this one in here actually and then i have a bunch here i'm just going to take like a roll of each kind of color so there you go put these back in here okay Let's back on. Actually, I wanted to take these into the closet that I just decluttered down there. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to take these bows out for those gifts and the stickers actually use the stickers. Let me just pick. I don't love how these look actually. Oh well, I'm just going to use them up. Use those. Okay. I think this will take me about less than a minute to go stick these in the closet. So I'm going to pause this real quick and go put those away. Okay. This is where I want them to go. You can see part of the problem for me is actually people actually putting their things back so they go. This is not where these go. That's all right. We're still working on it. Put this up here, actually. I'm gonna put these here. Let's see if they fit. Let's see if they fit. Perfect. Yes. Ah. That's perfect. All right, really, I have a minute left. I mean, it took me probably about a minute to put everything away, but I'm gonna spend this last minute that I put on the timer just kind of cleaning this out real quick and seeing what I can organize in here because it's looking bad. We don't use these anymore. I'm just gonna declutter these. don't really use that either. So that's going to be decluttered. Okay. Let's see. Oh, more ribbon to add. As you can see, I've started learning that I need to make decisions really quickly. And I've learned that because I really haven't missed hardly anything that I've gotten rid of. And it just, it, it's been much faster and easier as time has gone on. There's my timer. Okay, let me just stick this back here. Put these two pieces back in here. Okay, so that does still need a little bit of work, which is totally fine. This is what I decluttered. I've got a bag of some recycling and then this box is just full of bags and stuff. I can donate most of this stuff in here. So I'm gonna probably send that off. I also decluttered these little tables and this Easter sign that I don't use anymore. 15 minutes. 
that is all it took. I got all of the gift wrap decluttered and put into a different closet that I've been wanting to put it in. I have some gift wrapping supplies here that I need to use. I'm gonna try and actually wrap some presents today. So I'm gonna take those upstairs to get that going. So 15 minutes is all it takes. I hope that you were also able to declutter something in 15 minutes. And if you did, comment below and let me know. I would love to hear about it. I've left you a video here to watch next. Thanks so much for being here and I'll catch you over there. Bye. Today, I would love to share with you 24 things that you can let go before 2024. Most of these I have personally decluttered in the past year and hopefully you will find it helpful. So let's get right into it. The first thing, are clothes that do not fit. Now you deserve to fit into the clothes that you have right now. That means the clothes that are too big for you, clothes that are too small for you, just clear them out. You don't need them there. Give yourself permission to just go ahead and get rid of those. Get rid of any clothing or items that need to be repaired. Anything that has just been sitting around for months, I don't know, maybe even years, that you have anticipated that you were going to fix, but you just haven't been able to get around to it just go ahead and get rid of it. Don't let it make you feel guilty anymore. And while you are in your closet, I would suggest you get rid of some purses. I actually just decluttered all of my purses except for one. It is just a small crossbody bag and it has been incredible to have just one small bag. I don't have to switch things over. I don't have things getting buried inside the bag. It's just been really nice. So purses are a really good thing you can get decluttered. Okay, also jewelry that you haven't worn in quite a long time. Styles can change pretty quickly, so it's really easy for something to go out of style or you just are tired of it and you don't want it anymore. So go ahead and just get rid of that. Toiletries that you don't use or that you don't really love. Maybe you don't like the smell. I actually had a face wash that I bought a while ago. It was a no-name brand of one that I usually like to use. And so I decided to give it a try. I'm usually fine with no-name brands, but this one, it just, the smell, Oh, it was so gross. I couldn't stand it. That was one thing that I just went ahead and got rid of. So anything like makeup, shampoo, hair products, lotions, anything like that. Just go ahead and get rid of it if you don't use it. Okay, nail polish. It doesn't last forever. It can get thick and goopy and really hard to brush on your nails, or maybe you just don't like the color. Maybe it's something that you just, you tried, you didn't like it. We don't need to keep it. Go ahead and toss that. All right, next we have expired sunscreens. Now I have a story about this. My sister-in-law, her family, they went to Mexico and she didn't realize that the sunscreen she brought was expired and her kids got so sunburned. So learn from her example and just toss out any sunscreen that is expired. And also let's get rid of any worn out or dingy towels or sheets. If they have holes or stains, you deserve to have soft, nice sheets and towels that you enjoy. So go ahead and just donate those to animal shelters if you want to, throw them away, whatever you need to do, just get them out of your house. Any bulky packaging that you have, you can go ahead and just recycle. For example, I had a package of three or four hand soaps in a box and I had been taking out a couple of soaps, so maybe there was one or two left in the box and that was just taking up space. So just take the big bulky packaging out and keep the products that you need. Also, containers that do not have a matching lid or a latching container. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. For example, downstairs in my basement just recently, I had tons and tons of lids, but the containers were nowhere to be found. Either they have broken or I have them in other places in my home that I didn't need to use the lid. But also in my kitchen, I like to go through my food containers and just make sure that they all have a matching lid. I know that some people like to keep them stored with the lid on. I don't. I feel like it just gets mildew and gross. And I like the way I have them stored currently, so it's not a problem for me. If you have anything that's missing the lid or the container, just go ahead and recycle those and get them out of your house. Next are water bottles. I know that these can be really easy to collect. I personally have a problem collecting water bottles as well, but go ahead and just pick one or two maybe per person in your house that you wanna keep that are your favorites. Maybe just get rid of the ones that are worn out or dented or just really old and gross. Okay, also food that is beyond edible or really freezer burnt. A lot of canned foods can actually last beyond their expiration date, but if it's years old, you might wanna consider getting rid of it. It probably won't taste very good anymore. Plus anything that's in your freezer that has just gotten really freezer burnt, try and get rid of those. And maybe in the future you wanna invest in something like a vacuum seal bag that will help you to keep things from getting freezer burnt in the first place. But also, 
maybe just think ahead and try and plan ahead to get rid of all that food by eating it before it gets too freezer burnt. Vases. I think that it might be a good idea to limit yourself to three or four vases. I have heard that you can recycle those and give them back to the flower shop if you don't want them anymore. So that is something that you can get rid of before 2024. Okay, magazines, newspapers, paid bills. Only keep what you are currently reading or currently using. So if there's a magazine that you've already gone through or a newspaper that you've already gone through, just recycle it, get it out. Receipts. Now I don't really keep receipts anymore, but the only time that you really need to keep receipts is if you think you are going to return the item and the store only does returns with receipts. Otherwise you don't really need the receipt. Many stores can look up purchases from using the card that you purchased it with, but we might wanna try and start buying more intentionally so that we are not having to do returns all the time. This is something that I personally am really trying hard to work on and I'm hoping that 2024 is my year. I can do it, <laughs> right? But let's get those receipts out. We don't need them. Christmas cards. Now, do you get a lot of Christmas cards from your friends, neighbors, family, whatever? But I like to put them on a door during the holidays, just to kind of display them. But then once the holiday is over, they are gone. I just recycle them. There is no need for me to keep them. Product manuals. We don't need those anymore. Basically, anything that you need can be found on the internet. There's several things that I maybe have had to repair that I've purchased before. It's so easy just to go online and search for it. YouTube usually has a video on anything that you need to repair. You can find it. So just get rid of those product manuals. They're usually pretty bulky and take up a lot of space anyway. So let's just recycle those. Any old phones or electronics that you don't use anymore or cords that you don't know what they belong to. I recently recycled a huge box of cords, 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 so many cords, but also some laptops and just other small electronics and things and it felt so good to get those out of our house. There's so many times where you find a cord and you just have no idea what it goes to. If nobody in your house knows what it goes to, just go ahead and recycle it. You don't need it. <laughs> if you're finding this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos like it, I would love for you to subscribe below. Email. <laughs> Do you have that annoying red little box at the top of your mail app on your phone that has thousands of unread messages? Well, so did I. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, I don't know. It's really easy just to take five minutes every time that you are just kind of sitting in your car waiting for something or you just have a five minute break to just sit down. Take five minutes, go and delete a few emails or unsubscribe from a few emails. It will feel so much better when you get that number down to zero and you don't have that red box there anymore. It just feels so good. So let's get those emails out of our inbox. Along with that, we can just get rid of the photos on our phone. It just seems like we take multiple photos of the same shot so that we can get the perfect shot, right? And we can just go ahead and again, just take five minutes and go through your photos from the last week, the last month, however long you wanna do it, and just delete a ton of the extras and just find the one shot that you really like. Get rid of all the other ones, cheap toys. <laughs> So anything that your child has gotten from the Dollar Tree, a Happy Meal, or a birthday party favor, usually those are just super cheap and they break super fast. So I like to let my kids play with them for, I don't know, a day maybe. And then there, I just find them on the floor. They don't care about them. Just pick those up and throw them out. We don't need them. Okay, any single or mateless socks and even gloves as well. If you haven't found the mate to one of these in a few months, maybe it's time to just toss that one out. I have this little basket that I set on my washing machine that I put any socks that do not have a mate in. I need to go through those and just get rid of the ones that don't have a match. We can also get rid of our fantasy self items. Do you have things that you hang on to because you think it represents what you want to be, but it's not actually who you are at the time? Does it make you feel like a failure? Like you can't actually do the project or whatever it is, say it's crafting, say it's sewing, woodworking, baking. I have a lot of examples like that. In my last video, I actually just got rid of a bunch of fantasy self crafting supplies and it feels really, really good. I am a type of person who really thinks that I can do anything, right? I think that I can be somebody who's good at woodworking. I think I can be a cake baker. I have done all these types of things and go and buy everything for it because I think that I'm just gonna be amazing at it. <laughs> I just think it's a really good idea just to get rid of those items. You know, maybe you tried them and you just didn't like the way that it turned out and that's okay. Let's live in the now and get rid of the fantasy self items that are bringing us down, making us feel bad about ourselves. 
What are some fantasy self items that you are willing to declutter? Comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear about it. I also have a bonus and this is the word should. Just like the fantasy self who we think we should be, right? It puts pressure on yourself to do or to be something that you think you are supposed to do or be. Instead, maybe we can change the word should to I want to, or I can, or I will. So instead of I should eat more vegetables, maybe we could say I want to eat more vegetables. That is a lot more empowering and it doesn't make us feel so guilty about ourselves. Go ahead and click on the video here to see how many fantasy self items I was able to get rid of. I'm so glad that you stopped by today and I will see you there. Bye bye. Where do you drop your mail or your keys when you walk into your house? What about the things that you need to return to your neighbor? What about that book that you've been meaning to read or the smoke detectors that you've been meaning to replace? Are they on the corner of your kitchen counter or are they on the dresser by your bedroom door? Well, that is a clutter hotspot and today we'll be talking about why they keep happening and how to get rid of them. You've probably heard many, many times that clutter attracts clutter and these hotspots are a prime example of that. You come in and you set down the mail, then you set down that book that you're gonna read in the same spot. And then your kids come home and they put their schoolwork on the same pile. And then your husband gets home and he drops his keys and his wallet on the same pile and so on and so forth. You get the idea. The pile just keeps growing and growing. This can be really, really easy to do because our brains want to do the least work possible. Or you just think that, you know, I'm going to set it here for a second. I'll get to it soon. But sometimes soon doesn't come soon enough, right? I learned about clutter hotspots many, many years ago from Fly Lady. If you haven't heard of her before, I will leave her link in the description down below. But how do we get rid of these hotspots? She suggests that we set a two minute timer every day to work on one of the hotspots. Just two minutes, that's it. Two minutes to put away everything that's in the pile or not even everything, whatever you can get put away in just those two minutes. This helps so much for the pile not to turn into a big chaotic mess. If you are finding this video helpful and are enjoying it, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up down below. We can also try to change some of our habits. I know that this can be really hard, but they can be really, really simple. Instead of coming in and putting your mail on the counter, why don't you try and deal with it on your way in the door? So you can be looking through your pile of mail and just tossing in to the recycling bin the things that you know you don't need, all the junk mail. And then as you walk in the door, open up those envelopes that you know you need, the bills you need to pay, whatever it is, and you can put those right straight into your inbox if it's something that you need to do soon. If it's something that you can do right away and you have just a couple of minutes, just go ahead and get it done right then. If you have a bill to pay, sit down on your computer or on your phone and just pay that bill really quick, shred it up and throw it away. And maybe we just need to add in a few extra steps of walking here and there, right? So instead of putting the things that you need to return to your neighbors on the washing machine that is by the door that goes out to your garage, maybe just take a few more steps and walk them and put it into your front seat of your car so that next time you are out and about, you can just go ahead and drop it off those neighbors. You can also add some hooks or baskets. In my little office closet, I put a hookup that is perfect for me to hang up my jackets and my purse. This has really helped keep down the clutter because I'm not dropping it onto my desk or hanging over my chair. You also can just accept that there is going to be clutter. I, I really think that there's just probably gonna be clutter no matter how hard you try, but you can keep that clutter down to a minimum. And you can also really try to clear it out as soon as possible, right? Because we really just don't want it to turn into a huge mess that, is, that feels really, really overwhelming. So I'm gonna take you along and just tackle one hotspot for two minutes to show you how simple and easy this can be. This is probably the worst clutter spot in my house. Everything that needs to just be put downstairs goes in a pile here instead of taking a few extra steps and walking it down the stairs. So this is what I am going to work on for two minutes today.
able to get the old rice bag out of here and put that one in there. Just two minutes. That's all it took. And I didn't just drop everything on the floor. I actually put it away on the shelves. Although I did put the grapefruit on the floor, which I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna stick it in this box of potatoes from my garden. All right, I'm gonna take you around my house just to show you a few of my clutter hotspots. My house is kind of messy right now. I haven't really cleared up the clutter spots, so this is a perfect example of those hot spots that pile up around my house. So let me show you some of these. Right here when you walk into my bedroom, this corner of our dresser seems to get piled up. <laughs> I stuck all of these smoke detectors here because I have good intentions of replacing the smoke detectors. And if I put them somewhere else, I know that I won't get around to them. So I'm just hoping that I can get those done really, really quick. The rest of this dresser does is a clutter hot spot for my husband and that's okay. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I'll put a couple of baskets here so that we can put everything in the basket. Maybe it won't look quite so messy. This is the spot right when you walk into our kitchen that things get set here. This is a big hot spot for us. This is one that I am trying really hard to keep on. A lot of cups get put here and then everything just kind of gets dropped here. Here's a little bit of mail that came in. Things that just need to be put away from my kids but there's always, always something here. So this is something I try really hard to stay on top of. Here's another hot spot. <laughs> Forgot about this one. Things get set here. This is the door out to our garage right there. Will you commit to doing this with me every day this week? Comment down below if you are and we can cheer each other on. I will also create a community post on my channel so that we can keep each other accountable. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet and if you didn't know, it is free. And if you are willing to spend five minutes, 30 minutes, just a small amount of time, you will be surprised at how much you can declutter. Click here to see how much I decluttered in just 30 minutes. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you there. Goodbye. Do you struggle with wasting your food or not even knowing what is in your freezer? Well, today I am going to be reorganizing my freezer and decluttering it as well. I would love for you to join me as I declutter mine and you can declutter your freezer as well. So let's get going. The very first step is that we want to empty everything into coolers. As you are clearing out your freezer, you want to throw away or toss anything that is expired or freezer burned. We're trying not to waste food here, but sometimes it just happens. Our deep freeze was stuffed too full and it started to thaw. A bunch of stuff got ruined. Unfortunately, that is gonna go, but you're gonna wanna do that with everything as you are taking it out of your freezer and putting it into your cooler. Once your freezer is empty, if it is full of ice, this would be a really good time to stop and defrost it. If you would like to learn how to defrost your deep freezer, I have a link left below in the description. This would be a good time to give this a quick wipe down. If you don't wanna use a cooler and take everything out of your freezer that way, you can just set it on the counter. You just wanna try and work somewhat quickly. The best way that I have found to be able to keep my freezer organized is to use organizers. Now this is my absolute favorite thing to use. This is actually made to be a file holder. I'm pretty sure I got this at Target several years ago. I'll link it down below if I can find it. But containing the items is going to make it much easier to keep it organized. I also have this little basket here. I just try and use what I can. It is a little bit difficult to get things to fit in, especially in a drawer freezer. That's why I really like these. I didn't have room in my cooler, so I have a bunch of stuff here. So I'm gonna try and hurry and get the next things done. I've emptied out the freezer. I took out these organizers and washed them down real quick. And now I'm going to separate everything into like items. I bought way too much of this mixed fruit. I forgot that I had this little freezer here and I had already bought a package. So I have a lot of this, but we use these for smoothies mostly. I probably will be taking some of this fruit down to the deep freeze in the basement. Okay, now I'm gonna take everything out of the cooler and put those into the piles that they belong to. I know it may not look like it, but I actually have these separated into like item piles. I have fruits, and if I had any vegetables, I'd have those there. I have all the meats. I have some yeast baking stuff. Actually, I'm gonna put that over by the butter. 
It's kind of baking and the nuts. Potatoes, breads, and then this is mostly quick, easy dinners or after school snacks. And then like ice cream and popsicles and any desserts. I'm gonna go ahead and just see how I can fit the containers inside the freezer. This one here. It's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough. And then I have this little container here. And I'm actually thinking I freed up this one from decluttering some other things. I might stick that there or even go like that. I can't decide yet. So we'll see how everything fits. Okay, I'm gonna stick all the meat in this area because I know it's probably not gonna all fit in here. I'm gonna try and put these chicken thighs on the top because you can see that the seal has come undone and they are getting freezer burned. So I wanna use those up as soon as possible. Oh, just gonna put them there for a second. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the fruit. Peaches from our tree, cherries from our tree, and then some mixed fruit here. All right, that works. Okay, I'm gonna do the nuts over here. I have way too many nuts. I'm gonna try and use them up. I use pecans the most. All right, this is where I have to start getting pretty creative. I'm gonna put the quick chicken dinners over here by the meat. I made the mistake of buying two huge bags of these from Sam's Club or Costco or wherever. We don't really love them, so I'm trying to learn my lesson and not do that again with these, but we're gonna try and use them up anyway. I do like these, so we use those quite a bit. We have this other quick chicken dinner, and I don't want the box because we've already used one bag. So I think I'm gonna take the bag out and then cut out the instructions and stick them in my junk drawer so that I can remember how to, how to cook them. The bread. Um, actually, you know what? I only want to keep one up here in the freezer because I don't have room. So the other one I put in the basement, although we are almost out of bread up here. So I'm just going to put that in our pantry. Put the bread up here. The quick, fast meals down here. I need to just get these out and make some for my kids for after school, even just today. I can use those up. Now things do get kind of buried, but when you have them separated, you know what is in there so that you can find what you're looking for. I'm gonna put the potatoes back here. That works. Here I'm gonna put the baking stuff. So yeast, and I have some, a little bit of bread flour. I like to try and freeze it. I do have some in the cupboard as well, but it lasts longer. I could put the butter back there, but a perfect spot is this little spot here. I use these ice packs every day for school lunches. And then we have just some other ice packs. Okay, here's the end result. Full freezer, nice and organized. Now we need to use it all up. Okay, I was able to fit most of everything from the small freezer and my regular freezer back into the freezer. I have a few items left here. I'm going to be using this for dinner this week. So I think I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge right now so that I can use it up. Same with this tomato soup. So I'm gonna put those in the fridge. I got rid of a couple boxes and I just have a few things to take downstairs to the freezer downstairs. And I'll show you what is down there and how I organize in that freezer. Unfortunately, I have to throw away a lot, especially the stuff that was on the top shelf here. Our freezer had to get stuffed full and we didn't realize that that would cause a problem. So a lot of it thawed out, refroze, got a lot of freezer burn on it. So we have to throw away quite a bit. All these popsicles, they got all melted. Yeah, this entire box, this popsicle back here, I can see it. It's gone, which means it melted all over. This is some peach ice cream that I made and I know this melted, unfortunately, I have to throw that out. When it thawed out, things spilled. I had just defrosted this freezer, unfortunately, so I have to do it again. Gross, huh? I don't even know what that is. And I'm gonna show you how I keep this one organized. The top shelf here, I usually keep my jams and ice cream, which is not here, and popsicles. The next shelf, I have all of my frozen fruits. And then over here are quick, fast, easy meals or snacks. And then this drawer and the bottom is where I keep all the meat. I keep this big bucket down here, which makes it really easy to throw all of my meats in here. Chicken, steak, ground beef. I also have just some extra meat over here that doesn't fit. I have these ribs and back there is some more breaded chicken. Down here on the bottom, this is where we keep our salmon. We are commercial fishermen in Alaska, sometimes in the summers. So we have a lot of salmon. 
And actually, we're having salmon for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna grab one of these and take it upstairs to thaw out. And then over here in the door, I keep nuts and yeast over there and any other baking things that I would have. I have a little bit of pesto in this little container here and some orange juice on the bottom. I really don't keep a lot in the door. If you like decluttering and organizing videos, make sure you subscribe below. I make videos like this every week. An organized freezer feels so good, doesn't it? Now that you can find what you need, you need to be able to use up that food that you have. To start this process, we need to know what we have so that we know what we can use up. We're going to take inventory of what we have inside our freezer. And then I like to just sit down and plan out my week's worth of meals based on what I have in my freezer. I did stick to this menu all week, but I only filmed just a couple of them. I really hope you are enjoying today's video. If you are, please click on the thumbs up button down below. For tonight's dinner, I grabbed this tomato soup, homemade tomato soup out of my freezer. It will melt here nicely and get nice and bubbly and warm. And I'm gonna be making some grilled ham and cheese sandwiches to go with it. All right, tonight is night one to use up what I have in my freezer. I'm going to be making a tortellini soup rose rolls with it. So I'm gonna pull those out and get those thawed out. I'm, here's some tortellini. I have half a pound of Italian sausage that goes in this recipe, so I'm gonna use that up. I also have some garden carrots that I need to use up, so this is a perfect recipe to use up. The only two items I had to purchase at the grocery store was zucchini and a green pepper. The rest of the items I have in my pantry, or I always have. I have an onion here that I'm gonna cut up. Click on the video here for four more easy dinners. And click on the video here for four easy steps to declutter and organize your pantry. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.